Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2019 American horror science fiction movie, called The Silence. A team of cave researchers hammers a section of a cave in Pennsylvania. When they dig deeper into the cave, they discover an expansive and abandoned chamber in the cave. They immediately inform the surface team about the discovery of the chamber, but suddenly a swarm of unknown species of bat-like creature violently kills the researchers. Then they fly out of the cave and seek for the noisiest area. Ally is a teenage girl who loses her hearing in a car accident. As she is walking down the street and watching something on her tablet, a group of boys mocks her from behind using sign language. She knows this because she can quickly adapt to her deafness and can sense everything around her, but she chooses to ignore their mocks. Ally's father, Hugh and his friend Glenn work as engineers. In the middle of their meeting, Hugh receives a call from his wife, Kelly, who informs him of Ally being mocked by some boys at school, showing that Ally's parents are worried about her. Ally lives in Montclair, New Jersey with her parents, her grandmother, Lynn, who has terminal lung cancer, her younger brother, named Jude, and a dog pet. One day, Ally is walking home from school and suddenly her friend, Rob, covers her eyes from behind. Rob promises her that someday he is going to buy a car so he can pick up Ally every day. They walk home holding hands. Rob seems to like Ally. When she gets home, she tells her mom why she is late, and then Kelly suspects Ally and Rob are dating. Ally sees her dog barking outside all of a sudden, feeling that something is going wrong. The night after dinner, she finds her grandmother smoking in the backyard. Lynn begs her not to tell her mom about it and she agrees. On the way to her room, she sees her parents arguing about the accident that Ally's had three years ago. Then she decides to lay in her bed and watch some news on her tablet as Hugh enters her room. He worries about her life, especially about Rob and asks if he's a good guy. At three in the morning, her mother wakes Ally up. She goes into the living room and sees her whole family watching news on the TV, including Glenn. The news says that there is an outbreak of unknown creatures in the cities of Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. The strange creatures are referred to as VESP and they are easily provoked by loud noises. The US government declares a state of emergency and asks people to stay indoors and quiet. A loud noise swiftly startles everyone and they see several warplanes in the sky. Ally suggests them to go to the countryside, which tends to be quieter. They agree with that and Glenn also joins them, bringing his gun. They finally set out in two cars. Meanwhile, Ally has a video call with Rob as they drive away from the city. They both promise to stay in touch until the outbreak ends. After a while, they stop at a gas station to prepare all the necessities. Ally takes her dog to pee and it suddenly starts barking at a man with a shotgun. The man points his gun at her and tries to hijack Hugh's car. Just as Hugh is about to give him the key, Glenn manages to shoot the man in the leg, and they drive away from the gas station. The following day, they encounter a massive traffic jam, blocking all the interstates. Glenn decides to change their way, leading them off-road. Out of nowhere, a herd of fleeing deer crosses Glenn's path, forcing him to tumble down the embankment. He survives but is trapped inside the car. Hugh initially tries to help him, but he asks Hugh to leave him behind and keep moving to be safe from the creatures. Kelly also tries to call for help, but sadly there's no signal. At the end, Hugh promises Glenn that he will search for help and return to rescue him. When the family returns to their car, their dog suddenly barks again, attracting the Vesps to attack their car. Glenn hears the Veps and starts firing his gun, leading them away from the car and ultimately sacrificing himself. The Veps return to their car as the dog continues to bark, so Hugh decides to let the dog out of the car, leaving Ally crying in disappointment. After they wait for a while, Hugh tells them that he needs to try something and goes out of the car. Unexpectedly, Lynn starts coughing, drawing a Vesp to the car again. Hugh then slowly picks up an iron and throws it away to distract the Vesp. He realizes that the Vesp cannot see and Ally says that they understand sign language, allowing them to survive without making a sound. Unable to use their vehicle due to its noise, Hugh asks for Lynn's lighter and sneaks to Glenn's car. He sets the car on fire as a decoy so the family can quickly get out of the car and walk through the woods in search of shelter for the night. They find a house with a high fence and a locked gate. They try to open the door, but accidentally make a sound from the bell hanging on the locked door instead. The homeowner who is unaware of the situation, comes out and speaks loudly, causing the Vesps rip her apart. Soon, they find a storm drain to enter the house. Hugh crawls first through the storm drain and then beckons them all when he reaches the front of the house. The rest starts to crawl in when suddenly a rattlesnake scares Jude, making him scream hysterically. The attracted Vesps bite Kelly's leg. Hugh instantly distracts them by turning on a wood chipper, 
crushing the vests that fly into it. Finally, the family peacefully enters the house. Later that night, they treat Kelly's wound and Ally tries to contact Rob, who tells her that his parents are dead. She learns that religious cults have sprung up after the disaster. She also tells Rob to come here, but then the call is disconnected. The next morning, Kelly's wound is getting worse and infected, so Hugh and Ally leave to find some antibiotics for her. They arrive at the city with no one around. They find a pharmacy store as a strange man watching them from afar. Inside the store, Hugh collects the medical supplies and Ally discovers the disgusting vest bags growing inside corpses. Abruptly, the Vesps enter the store hearing to Ally's surprised voice. Hugh has an idea to distract the Vesps by activating a fire sprinkler and manages to escape from the store with Ally. As soon as they come out, the strange man approaches them and introduces himself as a reverend. He tries to recruit them into his flock named The Hushed, but Hugh and Ally choose to leave him as the reverend points out that he doesn't have a tongue. They return home with the antibiotics and Kelly recovers swiftly. Ally learns from the CNN news that Vesp cannot survive in the cold place in the northern parts. They are calling the place as the gray and there is no electricity, making people there cut off from the world as their electronic devices run out of batteries. By morning, the Reverend finds the family's hideout and shows up with his followers. He requests Hugh once again to join their flock, but Hugh refuses and asks them to leave. Then the tongueless Reverend writes the girl is fertile, referring to Ally. Enraged, Hugh brings out his gun, forcing the cultists to leave. In the evening, Rob lets Ally knows that he heads north to the refuge, but the internet disconnects after that. Thunder rumbles as the whole family fall asleep. Hugh and Kelly are suddenly awakened by a creaking sound from outside of their house. They find a shocked little girl at the door. After letting her in, they discover that the little girl has no tongue and she is a member of the tongueless cult. Surprisingly, they find the little girl hiding several phones inside her clothes, and it turns out that some phones are already placed around the house by the cult. The phones start ringing simultaneously, attracting the Vesps to attack their house. They are able to throw the phones into the water, stopping them from ringing. Nevertheless, the cult members manage to break into the house and abduct Ally while everyone else is busy taking care of the Vesps. Lynn, who sees Ally being abducted, follows them and tries to rescue Ally. She restrains Ally's captors at the expense of herself, screaming and attracting the Vesps to her and the captors while Ally escapes. Unfortunately, one of the cult members takes Ally as a hostage with a knife on her throat. They eventually fight back and kill most of the cult, including the reverend who is severely beaten by Hugh. A few weeks later, the family travels north across America and finally arrives at the refuge. Ally charges her tablet on an abandoned jeep and receives a message from Rob, telling her he's already there. Lastly, she reunites with him and they start hunting the Vesps with arrows, adapting to the new world. She wonders whether the Vesps will adapt to the cold and whether humans will adapt to a soundless lifestyle, like she did when she lost her hearing. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.